England's Six Nations squad have been taking some time out of their busy schedule ahead of the Wales clash this weekend to hone their coordination skills. They've been putting their driving ability to the test in the Terrapod, an obstacle course created by Land Rover, the official vehicle of the England team. Oh, that was really good. I mean, it was a bit difficult because obviously it's nothing you're used to before, so um, you know, it feels all a bit foreign, there's nothing you can weigh it up against each other, but so you've got to let the car do its stuff and very impressive how easy the car takes it. Going around a couple of times, I've, I've felt um, pretty comfortable, pretty confident. Um, it's got a few tips, um, you know, that got me through it. So, uh, no, I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, I've obviously never done anything like that before. Um, yeah, it was quite exciting, obviously. Reaching the top there, I'm a little bit nervous, scared of heights of it. So when you can't see the road, um, it's a bit worrying. But I had all the faith in the instructor here, so uh, I was happy with it. And how do you think he did? Very, very well. He was getting a bit of abuse from his teammates. But uh, I have to say, having driven around with both of them and now uh, this time round, he did better than they did by quite some way. The game against Wales at the Millennium Stadium could well be England's toughest match of the Six Nations campaign and the players say that this kind of activity can really help their preparation. Well, it's just uh, important to get away from you know your normal environment that everyone's used to, sort of rugby and training and everything like that, and just have a bit of fun together, you know, doing something like this you know, to help the sort of t team get to know each other and bonding. Um, it's just nice to, to take your mind off rugby for a little while and... Um, you know, we have been training very hard and sort of instead of just hanging around in your hotel room and doing nothing, watching TV, it's nice to come down here, have a bit of a rest and, uh, you know, ha have some fun and go up and down these ramps and sort of take the mick out of each other when, when behind you there some guys are struggling to drive them. But when the driving stops and the rugby starts, how will England get on? Well, the team are under no illusions. Um, you know, look, when you go down to the Millennium Stadium to play against Wales, uh, who are on top form, who are the most, you know, who are the most informed team in the um, in the competition, you know, it's going to be a massive game. Couple that with the Welsh fans and, and that that roof close, it's going to, yeah, it's going to be a big melting pot of, of lots of emotions. But I think we're all ready for it. Uh, this will be a big one, you know, down there. The atmosphere, England, Wales, always huge. Whenever England, you know, that would be arrogant. Everyone wants to beat you historically. Um, so. We know where we are as a team. You know, Wales are very confident. They've played well. Uh, they've won a couple of games now on the trot, and uh, they'll be looking forward to the game. They'll think they can they can take us on. But that's the challenge for us. You know, it's a huge challenge, playing down there and playing this team who are in uh, in good form. All that remains now is for England to make the short journey along the M4 to Cardiff. Now that journey won't be as tricky as this course, but the game could well be. Cheers, boys. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Awesome.